What's good, people? I'm Allison News. That's right, Allison News. And I got stuck. What do you mean you've never heard of me? I'm like the greatest person you ever know. Well, I'm done. You're going to be running off to your friends saying, Oh my God, King Allison News is telling me a story. <sighs> Anyways, let me tell you about what happened to me one day. It was your, well, my average day at the, past, at the palace. I was getting lit. Girls with big booties working on me. Pretty sure Basayan doesn't <laughs> like that. But then this man just comes in here all of a sudden. I was like, uh, no, at first I was like, the hell? Like, who just comes in here and starts banging my wife's feet? Then he told me that all he wanted to do was go home. So I was like, hey, I got you. But first let me have my counsel. Counsel, because he just wants to go home, you feel me? Later that night, my wife noticed that he was wearing my, our daughter's clothes. We asked him why, and he responds with this whole story about how he got away from this crazy chick and found her daughter. You want to hear it? Aight. So, before he got here, he was on this island with this girl called Calypso. She wanted him there forever. She almost did. Keep him there for seven years. Seven. All he had to do was say no. But somehow, he got off the island and ended up here, naked. I don't know. Then our daughter found him while she was washing her clothes, naked. <laughs> Why is everybody naked? Like, huh? And, and, and apparently, she gave him her clothes and told him to come here. That probably explains a lot, right? Yeah. All right, next day, hell in assembly, and everyone came. Like, everyone. Go all these people. Who? Anyways. I went and hit up my counselor, counselors to discuss our plans with our guest. Summing up, it was like, hey, cuz, can I give them a ship? And they're all like, sure. <laughs> then we held a party at the palace with a, with a feast and some games. That party was lit. It was a lot like the one that I, that I told you about. Mm, excuse me. Told you about earlier. We had this blind singer that was really good. Everybody was hollering and clapping. But then I turned to my left. And I see your guest boo-hooing. I thought to myself, why the hell is he crying? It's just a song about Odysseus and Achilles. Well, I couldn't just let him keep crying. So I had to cut, off, cut the music and just went straight to the games. I the games. Forget the Olympics. This is it right here, boy. We got discus, track, boxing, wrestling. Actually, this sucks. We only got four things, while the Olympics got like 20 things. Most of the things are like weird sports. Like who the hell rows competitively? Name one rower you know. Oh wait, you can't because you don't know. <sighs> My bad, I got sidetracked. Okay, but anyways, we asked our guest to join the games, but he said nah. Then this dude, Brodsy, came out of nowhere and started speaking hot garbage. First of all, I know he ain't come for somebody with a name like Brodsy. <laughs> like, who, who thought of naming their kids? Who thought, who just went to their ch baby and said, you look like a Brodsy. <laughs> like, huh? Second of all, he got smoked in the discus by, the, by our guest. It was horrible. Our guest even said, boy, that's what your big forehead looking self gets. That's why you named Brodsy, because your parents looked at you and said, oh, Lord, my baby, my baby forehead looked like a Brodsy. <laughs> I could tell he was feeling himself, because after that he said, who's next? Everybody came up to him fussing. It was a, they were about, uh, for a second, I thought they were about to bump. It was about to be crazy. It was gonna be on everybody's snap store. Oh, wait, we don't have phones. <laughs> Anyways, I was able to defuse it with some food. At dinner that night, everybody gave him gifts. I gave him some Gucci flip-flops. I don't know about everybody else, but mine was heat. Then he asked that same singer to sing a song about the chosen horse. He was all enjoying it. Except the guest. He was boohooing again. Again. I cut the music, but this time I asked him what was wrong. And who were you? He told me he was Odysseus. All this time I was just chilling with the king of Ithaca. I asked him why he was, what he was doing here of all places. And he told me everything. It was a whole saga. So I'm going through this quick, okay? I left Troy with 700 men, 
took a wrong turn, ended up and started pillaging the, pillaging the city. Got, barely got out of there. Then they got caught up in the storm, was sent off to an island with crazy people with a the fruit. Then they, were, then they found the Aeolus. Wait, um. No, then they went to the island of the Cyclopses. One of them being Poseidon's son. The original plan was to go get some things and leave, but Odysseus got greedy. Then, but they were caught by Polymephus, Poseidon's son. Um, he ate some of his men and locked the rest up. Barely got out of there with most of his men. Then um, they found Aeolus. He's like Minnie in the SpongeBob movie and gives him a bag of winds. Then hit, oh, these men are like Patrick, and then they open the wind, open the bag. Then they're flung over to islands of Lystragonians, big ass cannibals. Then they, but then they eat most of his men, and only a handful survive. Um, then they go meet this baddie, Cersei. She turns some of the men to pigs, but then she turns them back into humans. She then told him that to get to Ithaca, he must go to hell and speak with his prophet. Side note, Oli has literally gone through hell and back to get here. Anyways, then they go to the island of the sun god. His men kill his cattle even though Oli told him not to. And then the sun god brought the pain. They killed everyone except Oli. Then he showed up on Calypso's island. Then the next day, he left. And that, and that people was the most eventful day of my life.